How does a Roman emperor, beloved at the start of his reign, descend into a spiral of madness and tyranny that would forever taint his legacy? Meet Caligula, born Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, the third Roman emperor who ruled from 37 to 41 AD. His early life was marked by tragedy, losing his parents at a young age, yet when he ascended the throne, the public adored him. He was hailed as a new hope for Rome, a breath of fresh air after the somber reign of his predecessor Tiberius. But, as the saying goes, all that glitters is not gold. A sudden shift in Caligula's behavior sent shockwaves through the empire. The beloved emperor's actions began to grow erratic, his decisions increasingly tyrannical. Stories of his alleged madness started to circulate, painting a picture of a ruler who had lost his grip on reality. So, what thrust Caligula into this whirlwind of insanity? Let's delve into the chronicles of his reign to unravel this mystery. Caligula's reign began with promise and hope. He was seen as the young, vibrant leader Rome needed. When Caligula ascended to power in the first century AD, the Roman Empire breathed a sigh of relief. The previous emperor, Tiberius, had ruled with an iron fist, leaving the Roman populace yearning for a more benevolent leader. Caligula, with his youthful energy and charisma, seemed to be the answer to their prayers. He was beloved by the masses, who saw in him a symbol of hope and renewal. His early policies reflected this optimism, he reduced taxes, granted bonuses to the military and initiated public reform. He was also known for his extravagant public spectacles, which endeared him further to the people. But all that glitters is not gold. The early days of Caligula's reign, filled with promise and prosperity, were merely the calm before the storm. But the golden days of Caligula's reign were short-lived. As the clouds of madness began to gather Rome would soon witness the reign of a tyrant. The once-loved emperor began to display signs of erratic behavior and cruelty, marking the beginning of his descent into madness. Caligula's transformation from a beloved leader to a feared tyrant wasn't overnight. It was a slow, insidious descent that began with an extravagant lifestyle that knew no bounds. He squandered Rome's treasury on lavish parties, extravagant games and colossal construction projects, living a life of opulence while his people starved. His hunger for luxury was insatiable. But this was just the tip of the iceberg, the first indicator of a mind spiraling out of control. The emperor's behavior became increasingly cruel and bizarre. He reveled in public executions, often ordering them on a whim. He showed no mercy even to his closest allies and family members. His sadistic tendencies extended to psychological torture as well. He would invite the wives of his guests to dine with him, only to publicly humiliate their husbands later. His unpredictability kept Rome on the edge, everyone living in fear of his next move. But perhaps the most alarming manifestation of his madness was his self-declaration as a god. He demanded worship, not just as an emperor, but as a divine entity. He had statues of himself erected across Rome, dressed himself in the robes of various gods, and even claimed he could control the weather. The line between man and God blurred in his mind, a clear sign of his deteriorating sanity. His delusions of grandeur, his extravagant lifestyle and his cruel acts were all pieces of a terrifying puzzle, painting a picture of a man losing grip on reality. His subjects, once hopeful, now watched in horror as their leader descended further into madness, his actions becoming more erratic, his rule more tyrannical. As his madness escalated, so did his tyranny. The once vibrant Rome was now under the grip of a mad emperor. The Roman Empire, once a beacon of civilization, was now subjected to the whims of a madman. Caligula's reign, which commenced with promise and hope, soon spiraled into a reign of terror that held Rome in its merciless grip. Caligula's rule was marked by acts of cruelty and sadism that were unprecedented even by Roman standards. He had a penchant for public humiliation and torture, often subjecting his victims to the most inhumane forms of punishment. His own family was not spared from his wrath and he is believed to have ordered the execution of his brother and forced his sisters into exile. As his reign progressed, Caligula's paranoia became increasingly palpable. He saw enemies in every shadow, traitors in every whisper, Senators, nobles, even trusted advisors were not immune to his suspicion. This paranoia led to purges within the ranks of the Roman elite, further instilling fear and mistrust within the empire. The Roman Empire, once a model of order and efficiency, was being held hostage by Caligula's madness. His erratic policies and unpredictable behavior left the empire in a state of constant flux. The economy was hit hard as he squandered Rome's wealth on lavish spectacles and personal indulgences. His military campaigns devoid of any strategic value served only to feed his own ego and further drain the empire's resources. 
But perhaps the most damaging aspect of Caligula's reign was the psychological impact it had on the Roman people. They lived in constant fear, never knowing when Caligula's wrath would be unleashed upon them. Their emperor who was supposed to be their protector, had become their tormentor. Caligula's reign was a dark chapter in Rome's history, ending with his assassination, a desperate act to save Rome from further chaos. His death marked the end of a terrifying era, but the scars left by his reign of terror would linger for generations. Such was the legacy of Caligula, the mad emperor of Rome. Caligula's reign was a symphony of madness that left an indelible mark on Roman history. His reign, though short, was filled with lunacy and bloodshed, ending abruptly with his assassination in 41 AD, but the echoes of his madness didn't die with him. They reverberated through the corridors of power, shaking the very foundations of the Roman Empire. Caligula's death triggered a power vacuum, leading to a period of instability and chaos. His actions had eroded the faith of the people in their leaders, casting a long shadow over the emperors who followed him. His legacy was one of fear and distrust, a dark chapter in the annals of Rome, yet, his reign also served as a stark lesson to those who ascended to power. It was a harsh reminder of the dangers of absolute power, the corrosive effects of madness on the mind of a ruler. So, Caligula, a promising young emperor, became a symbol of tyranny and madness. His reign serves as a grim reminder of the destructive power of unchecked authority.